Hi, my name is Don Giannomenico, and I'd like to demonstrate for you, in detail, the GR5A turbo shaft engine. Come on, let's go inside the garage and I'll show you how it works. The GR5A is a home-built twin shaft gas turbine engine that I constructed to further my education in gas turbine engines. The GR5A is a self-contained, self-starting gas turbine engine which means it requires no external power sources to operate the GR5A. The GR5A is equipped with an onboard alternator which supplies the engine with all of its operational electrical requirements. This allows the GR5A to be autonomous from any type of APU or ground-based power source. The GR5A is also equipped with an electric starter motor which allows the engine to start without using an external starter or APU. This development is quite handy as there is no need to lug around compressed air or a blower unit. The only requirements to operate the GR5A is a two position switch, fuel source and 12 volts DC to start the engine. The engine is based on an unmodified Rotomaster T3 T4 hybrid automotive turbocharger. The turbo in conjunction with the burner can or combustor makes up the gas producing section of the GR5A. This gas producing section provides the high velocity gas used to create shaft horsepower in the GR5A. The power turbine section coupled to the turbo is a single stage axial flow turbine wheel which I fabricated out of mild steel. This turbine wheel harnesses the power of the high velocity gases and converts them into shaft horsepower. The power turbine is coupled to an oil cooled 5 to 1 inline gearbox which in turn is coupled to an integral two-speed transmission for shaft power output. A 55 amp 12 volt alternator is also coupled to the power turbine's output shaft generating up to 660 watts of electrical power. The engine has a dry weight of 147 pounds and a maximum power output of 8 shaft horsepower at 3600 rpm. The gas producing turbine's maximum rpm is 126,000 and the power turbine's maximum RPM is 17,500. The engine holds 2.5 quarts of 5W30 synthetic motor oil for lubrication. The compression ratio is 2.3 to 1 and the fuel consumption is 2.5 gallons of liquid propane fuel per one shaft horsepower an hour. Not a very efficient engine, but a whole lot of fun to operate. During the startup procedure, the GR5A will use an electric spooling blower to spin up the turbocharger's turbine. A blower valve will also close, allowing the spooling blower to force air through the engine. Once the electronic control unit, or ECU, sees the proper turbine RPMs and oil pressure, it will ignite the fuel-air mixture in the combustor. Once the gas-producing turbine is self-sufficient, the spooling blower will stop and the blower valve will open. And now, let's fire up the GR5A and see how she runs. And now, let's look at the operation of the ECU. I have removed the cover to allow us to see its operation during startup.
And now, let's take a look at the control panel during startup. During the shutdown sequence, the ECU will stop fuel flow and start the spooling blower at 30% speed for 4 minutes. This will allow the turbine to cool below 400 degrees Fahrenheit and prevent oil from burning onto the turbine's hydrostatic bearings. I had fun building the GR5A. I hope you enjoyed watching my presentation. Thanks. Be sure to see the GR5A's first field test on the GRV1 Turbo Tug video, only on rcdon.com.